What's up everyone? I have a pretty cool camera and it is the Polaroid SX70. What really impresses me about this camera is it is not as big as you would imagine. You see these photos of the Polaroids and you imagine these big sort of bulky instruments but this is a very portable camera. What's so cool is the way that this was designed back in the day. It's very slim and very thin and easily would fit into a book bag, backpack, or even a purse, but it pops open into a full-fledged actual Polaroid camera and it's still not huge like I said. It's pretty neat size actually. This is my first day with this camera. I've not shot any film on this yet because I have some impossible project film that's ordered once I do shoot some film on this. Post a video to that. This is my first impression of the camera. I got it off of a seller on Etsy called Boom Vintage. Link will be in the description. They're a pretty awesome seller and they test these out and make sure they're working before they send them out so you know you're not getting a dud. The viewfinder is a little dusty but that's nothing to be concerned about as long as you can still see through it and see your image and you're able to focus. Now this is the focusing wheel over here and just like with any SLR you'll want to make sure that your image is in focus by looking through the viewfinder. This over here is the exposure settings. It's the only thing that I'm really concerned about because I've heard some weird things about the Impossible Project film that you have to set it to a certain darkness and just just to get a regular shot. So I guess I'll deal with that when it gets to it, but that's the only thing that I'm actually concerned about with the camera. It's very clean, very nice, the design's great. The leather's actually been kept intact on this camera, but I know a lot of refurbished ones you can get different designs and things like that. There is a little bit of sort of dust and grime caught up in the sides of the leather. You might be able to see that. It's very minimal, not really noticeable unless you're picky about things like I am, but it's something that I'm willing to live with considering I got this at a pretty good price. To open up the camera, to insert the film, all you do is press the little yellow lever over here, press that all the way down, and this easily comes open. It's super simple, super easy. The roller looks fairly clean, there's nothing majorly wrong with this camera. Most all of these are going to show age, even the ones that the Impossible Project sells are not brand new. To my knowledge, they're just refurbished. Now, in order to get this camera back into its folded up position, all you do is press the metal hinge over here on the side. It tells you how to press it and everything. You just press that in and the camera automatically folds back down. You just push down until you hear both sides click and it's pretty much ready to go right now. Now if you look online you might even be able to find these pretty cool Polaroid vintage leather cases that were sold alongside these back in the day. It slides in perfectly. The Impossible Project did have some that they were selling as new but they're sold out of brown and black. I think right now you might still be able to get the white. Overall Etsy was a weird choice for me when buying a camera because I just didn't think about it but I went to Photo Jojo and I absolutely love Photo Jojo, but once I saw that they were charging like $350 and up for these cameras, not necessarily this exact edition, but similar cameras, I didn't want to pay that. Especially since the Impossible Project film is kind of on the expensive side. So I recommend checking out Etsy. They're a pretty cool place. Boom Vintage on Etsy is a pretty trusted seller. They've got nothing but five star feedback and I'm going to put their link in the description. They're pretty great. They'll work with you. Just message them, talk about the camera, if you have any questions, they'll be great about replying. So my first impression about this is I really, really like this camera. I like the design, I like the setup, I like the size, I even like the weight. It's heavy, but it's not too heavy. It's just heavy enough to feel substantial. And it's going to be pretty tough waiting on the mail to bring my Impossible Project film so I can get started shooting with this awesome camera. If you have any tips about shooting Impossible Project film, like I said, I'm brand new to this Polaroid stuff. I've shot with Instax Minis, but they do a lot of the work for you and with these I understand you have to do quite a bit of the work yourself. So if you have any tips with how to shoot indoors or anything like that, I'll be doing a lot of indoor shooting. I don't have any flash bars or anything like that for this so there's no flash. So if you have any information like that, I'd be more than grateful for it. As always, keep living the analog lifestyle.